Hi, it's Richard here from In The Box Productions. So, if you're new to these tutorials, uh, go and check out my YouTube channel because I've got loads of quick tips and even got a course on how to make a track from A to Z. Uh, subscribe and hit that bell and uh, you'll be up to date and informed of what I'm doing. So here's a, a quick tutorial about the cycle mode here, which we all kind of know about, and uh, but there's a few hidden features in here that I kind of discovered not so long ago, which are pretty cool. Now, obviously you've got the one where this just goes round and around and loops the, uh, the region that we want. So first of all, you need to turn on the auto set locators. Okay. You've got a few options here. You can go by marquee selection, by region selection, or by note selection. Here we've got the region selection already grayed out and selected. So what does that mean? That means quite simply that if I select the region, it automatically is looped. Or this one. Or we've got the MIDI region here, which is a piano. Obviously these are Apple loops here. I'll close the window up. And... Um, so that's really useful that exists in pro tools i know that and uh pretty happy to see that in in logic as well so now we have the marquee tool selection here so if i take off the regions and just use marquee okay so if i just select with the marquee tool and it will loop the section that i've just selected with the marquee tool select a part here and then that will automatically be selected so let's just use my note selection and we can go here and then by opening up the score here if we select here this will just select that bar and it will loop that bar by selecting one of the notes in that bar so if you're someone who writes music and uses this a lot this is, could be helpful so that's three options you have there that are kind of hidden away with the auto set locators and then we have another option which is uh becoming the normal mode you hold down command and go across like this that will give you a jump section so we're going to cross like this you want to edit a track and you want to jump apart just to see how it sounds before you start editing that's a good way of doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and don't forget to leave some comments, and I will see you soon.